Hi, welcome back to Want Beef. <laughs> it's Me been Ruben. four weeks. <laughs> Maybe eight if we get other episodes in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm the Urban Scene, filling in for, filling in for Jody Falco. Jody Falco. <laughs> this is part two, Appetizers. Uh, here's a, a song. Or here's, a, here's the song that we're singing. Remember happy. <laughs> Come on. All right. I know it. Welcome back to Womp Beef. This is episode two, uh, part two. This is an episode two. This is part two appetizers. You were, we were, we were talking about, you said so you were going to say something about Natalie, I think. Natalie. No, I just brought her in for a, um, oh. a cameo. Do you know what I use her for? I'm going to tell you something. She got really mad at me. I used her, I put she, her in. She's definitely watching this. Yep. I put her in my garden to keep the birds away. I used her as a scarecrow. <laughs> Look, she thinks it's funny. She's smiling. <laughs> well, I had four of these. Do you want one? Why do you have four of those? Because I made them um, when we all turned 40. A bunch of us had gone out. so I she wasn't with you. She, she wasn't, yeah. Days. So I made her face and I brought her. I remember photos of that, yeah. Yeah, and then so now, but I have four of them. So I used one for the garden. She looks pretty here, right? Yeah, she can. Natalie Lazilla Gianetti. Mm-hmm. Appetizers. Um, <laughs> you know what I you know what's funny I feel like chips and like that kind of stuff can't be an appetizer anymore I feel like appetizers have gone so far like people like really like do it up like you can't just put out like chips and dip now right like chips and dip is like um like a pre-app. Yeah. Like you're still expecting more. Right. So like when you go to On the Border, you get the chips and salsa, maybe a queso, maybe guac. Or, I'm, or even then, someone's house. And then they're like, well, what would you like as an appetizer? Right. And then you order like an appetizer. Yeah. And then you're full and you take your meal home. Yeah. And then it just sits in your fridge for four weeks. Right. And then you I very out. rarely take it home because I know I'm not going to eat it. But same. It never tastes the same. Yeah. Plus, like, wherever I am, like, I don't have... I'm usually, you know, I'm home for four days. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to take this home. Like, unless Roman wants to eat it. Like, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I don't think I've ever eaten someone's leftovers. Sometimes I'll eat Chinese leftovers. Oh, I will eat anyone's leftovers. Yeah. I'll eat off their plate. Uh, in fact, I'm, I, I was staying with... I was saying with Mark and Jackie and, and their kid Kira was eating eggs and pancakes and she like stopped in the middle. <laughs> she wasn't done yet. You no, just no, ate no. them. <laughs> well, she took a break and I was like, give me that. No, she, she was like, she was like, should I give this to the dog? And I was like, oh, I'll eat it. <laughs> and she was like, I met you. <laughs> oh, I'll eat pizza leftover, leftover pizza. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yo, can I tell you that? They're like in the rest of the country, they like no respect for pizza. Well, I guess because it's like not as good, yeah. So, like, they just have like so. Uh, my roommate Roman got like two pies the other day, and they were just you know, they were out, so like you just like eat it over the course of the day, you mm -hmm. know, and yeah. like it got cold. And then when I woke up in the morning, it was they were he had put all the leftover slices in a Ziploc bag, there's like a bag of pizza, like, a, like mashed up body parts. I've seen people do that. People do that. You're psychopaths. And You're not like, a psychopath. I was like, why is there a bit? I was like, why is it? Just you need, put it all in one box and leave the box on no, the No, no. You need tin foil, and then you put one slice, and then you put another slice of tin foil, and then you put the other one on the other side, and then you wrap it like... So that, that, yes. Yeah. If the box doesn't fit in. I don't, I don't, I don't want a whole box in my thing. I, I think, I think when it's just like one pie's worth of pizza, you put it all in one box... You put the box in, and then that 
after the next day, then you tinfoil the three or four leftover slices. Well, it's eight slices. Oh, if it's the whole, if it's the whole eight, if yeah. it's a pie's worth of pizza, which it was, and it was all in a bag. Yeah, that's weird. And, and yeah, and so you know, I mean, you know, we we ate it, we finished it. But. Yeah, of course. Oh, my thing from my holiday episode is still out. <laughs> I feel like this is a, a, a lackluster, this is like a wind down. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Like we're really... Yeah. We hit a wall. We hit a wall. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, um, I'm ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like having trouble like with like what kind of apps I really did. I'll, yeah, spinach and artichoke tips definitely like a highlight. Um... Like, can soup be an appetizer? Like, if I go get, like, Chinese, like, I always get, I start with wonton soup. I disagree that that's, I think soup is a soup, salad's a salad, chips are chips, and then, and even nachos now. It's like, nachos are nachos. Apps are, like... Salads are my favorite thing for someone to make me. Like if someone salad. made me a salad, I don't like making a salad. I feel like it's, like, a lot of work. Well, so I'll get like a bag, like the bag, like either a kit or just like, you know, like uh, it'll just be like two kinds of lettuce and like purple cabbage and carrots or whatever. Yeah. And then I'll just throw that in like a bucket or a bowl with <laughs> some dressing and maybe like a feta cheese crumble or something. Yeah. Do you like arugula? Uh, very, very simple. Yeah, I like arugula. I think that's my favorite um, leaf. I like, it might be my favorite leaf individually, but... Uh, you can't just have an arugula set like it's too yeah. peppery. No, you can. Well, I guess you can with like a lemon, like a like a thinly cut the, red yeah. onion. And a... No, I don't like onion. Mm. Onions give me like a stomach ache. Are you allergic to onions? They, I'm not allergic to them. I'm not a jerk off, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> just... Do you cook with them? You cook with them? No, not really. They just like yeah. I'm like older, and they just don't like sit well. But that doesn't make I'm allergic to them. Like what about garlic? I love garlic. Shallots. I don't really like shallots. What's over there? You keep looking at. Because I have like twelve cloves of garlic over there, twelve heads of garlic. So I say over garlic, there. and you like immediately. Yeah, look to maybe the I'm like yeah. Say something else. Twix bars. You're like, oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't like when restaurants, like an Italian restaurant, mm -hmm. will be like an appetizer is meatballs. No. No. Meatballs is part of your meal. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, an appetizer of meatballs? Yeah. I worked in an Italian restaurant and... Mario's. No, La Familia. Yeah. And they would just like, after you didn't use the bread, they would just... No. No. Pour it into this bread like box. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, that's that's illegal. I think. Well, I, the people who owned that one aren't there anymore. Shit. I hope I don't get whacked. I'm get whacked. <laughs> I don't get whacked or off or whacked off. What's the what? That was Family Guy. I think. Are you going to whack me off me? You know, whack me off? <laughs> uh, what was the other one? There was another one like that. Where it was like, um... Ah, that's not much. Cows and Kumar. But certain, like, certain... Like, if you go for Japanese food, you don't get appetizers. There's like edamame Maybe. or... Shumai? Gyoza? I feel like those are part tempura? of my... Those are part of my meals, usually. Shumai. Certain like Shumai. certain cuisines have better appetizers than others. I, I mean, honestly, I think like just American probably has the most appetizers because we are gluttonous. We're gluttonous. Yeah. Yeah. But no, nah, man, I, I'm in on other cultures. Yeah, but some of them don't promote it. Like Chinese food, you don't really get an appetizer. Yeah, egg roll or a dumpling or, or, or dim sum. Dim sum those, is basically... Yeah, but those are usually part of my meal. And I don't, like, share that with anyone. Well, because you don't share anything. I do! <gasps> Have you done dim sum breakfasts? No. That's a breakfast I'll eat, is dim sum. What was that? I'm trying to think if I share with people. 
Shit. If I'm, if you're on a date, do you share your food? Man, that's a tough one. It really it depends on a lot of factors. Right. Joey doesn't share food. <laughs> Uh, it depends on a lot of factors. One, get your own. Right. Well, will you share an appetizer? Yeah, of course. Like, we'll get a spinach dip. We can both. Right. You can't eat a whole, you can't eat a dip. You can't get, like, hummus or spinach dip and just, like, hoard that. That really has to be, like, a table. I agree. Thing. But, like, my meal? Like, if I'm like, oh, I'm going to get the... Yeah. No, I don't share my meal either. Buffalo. I mean, I guess they can have a bite. I'm like trying to. Would you to like to do... try this? You could try this. Do they try it off your fork or their own fork? I don't care. Do you feed it to them? If it were being sexy, if we're being cute. Okay. I also think that that's like, um, that's like, not like, you know how like certain body language is a certain thing? Like, that's like a, that's like a thing. Like, if it's like a first date. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, do you want some? And she's like, like that, like, Oh, we're fucking. You know what I mean? Like, now, I, like, that's a great sign. Right. Like, oh, you're going to eat off my fork? Like, like, like right. you're not being, like, grossed out about something. Right. You know what I mean? Where it's, like, some girls... Well, I like, don't think that it's necessarily grossed out. Like, sometimes, like, you're like, do I go in for it? Like, what if it falls? Like, what if it falls down my face? But you that's, know? like, a nice free... Like, that means she's, like, free and, like, right. comfortable and, like... Right. She's willing to roll the dice on the fall and the ding and get something, like, you whatever... Uh, that's like a nice sign. It's like, oh, all right, she's cool. She's like, she's like into like, she's down for the cause. Okay. Whereas like, someone be like, I'll be like, oh, we try that, and then they'll like cut off the part that you bit, and like, and it's like, like I'm, I'm gonna try and lick parts of you later. Like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> like, what are you scared of my germs? They're gonna get in you. <laughs> did, I, did I did I break you? I... <laughs> Cause that's what I feel like. Like if I'm with, like a woman I like, like whatever you got, I'm gonna get. I get it. I get it. I just didn't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> My lipstick messed up now. Yeah, it was all over your wrist. I mean, I don't know. Let me see. No, I'm, you're fine. No, you're on fine. my face. Yeah, you're fine. <sighs> that was tough. Hmm. I think I'm going to learn to be, like, nicer. Nah. You got a thing going. That's true. You've been doing, you've been cultivating it for so long. That's true. You're I feel really, like I've mastered yeah, it. Yeah, you nailed, you nailed this. Yeah. Uh, it's like when I try to like whisper, I swear to God, it's impossible. It's the accent. It's Long Island accent. Yeah. You it's impossible. It's impossible. Like I, I couldn't be like that like sexy girl that like says sexy things. What? Terrible. <laughs> You're like, hey yo, you like it when I do this? <laughs> How you? <laughs> oh, you like that, don't you? <laughs> hmm? Oh, do it harder, daddy. Shut up. <laughs> do it harder. I give up. Um, oh yeah, deeper, right, bro. That's enough. That's, that <laughs> is bro. I call you a bro. <laughs> uh, 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 yo, deeper, bro. Even like at work, you like know, you, you're, you're kind of taking I'd... me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, you're kind of taking me out of it. Can you, can you maybe like not call me bro? <laughs> I don't think I've ever called someone bro. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that, dude. Yeah. All right. But I... Uh. What? <laughs> Nothing. It's going to be disgusting. Uh. It can't be worse. Is it worse than what you no, said? No, but like, it's personal. 
Oh, tell me. I'd be like, I, like I can't imagine you saying anything, much less, hey, yo, do it deeper, bro. <laughs> Like, I imagine you're very, like, ugh, can we finish? Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I said you could do it. I didn't say I'd enjoy it. <laughs> that's, like, that's, how I, that's how I picture it with you. <laughs> I mean, with other people, like, I don't, you know. Correct. Hi, Tandy. Um... See, we're proof that men and women could just be friends. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. And Natalie. Oh. Unless, did you guys ever sleep together? No, I've offered. You have? Yeah, I would sleep with Natalie, why not? You've like gone to her and been like, would you like to sleep together? I remember one day we were just like chilling in her room. And she was like, oh, I haven't had sex in like this many months or whatever. And I was like, you want to do it? And she's like, no. And I was like, all right. Natalie, you never told me that. Because I think it was just like a, like it wasn't like. Interesting. Listen, I'm with sex like, it, it's it's like just, it's like another, it's like a meal. You know what I mean? It's just like no, a. No, I know. I'm not People like. People like that. Like, a, I, it separates for me like so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't have to have, um, it, that's like animal. You know what I mean? Like right. emotional is an animal. Okay, but so does it, I would imagine then that different girls are different. Di girls are different, for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's definitely like women where it's just like, I just, this is just function. This is just, I okay. just need to experience this right now. My testosterone's really high or I'm having a, like a crazy, I'm having such a good day or, or right. such a crazy day or such an awful day. Right. I just need to like do this animal act. Right. And then there's women where it's like, oh my god, like, I feel so strongly about you that like I like whatever, like I I just want to like. I have a question. Be whatever, do whatever. So, how is she supposed to know the difference? Probably in presentation. Okay. Like I don't think I'm. I don't think I. This is tough. I don't think that I mislead anyone. I think that I'm very open about where I am in my life. Right. I think. Right. Like, anyone I hang out with now knows that I'm just, like, I'm just being free. Like, I'm just exploring. Right. So now, okay. But there obviously are going to be ones that you like more than other ones. 100%. But, um, you know, what is... Also... I'm... <sighs> this is tough. I'm kind of a don't ask, don't tell either. Right. Like, if we're not... Like, I'm not going to ask you about who else you're with or right. what else you're doing. Right. I'm going to ask, like, what's safe. But I'm not going to But ask. I would think, like, there comes a point where then you would want to know. If I'm... If I'm romantically interested. Right. It, but I also, I'm not anywhere for like long periods of time right now. Yeah. So it's like, how, I mean, how valuable a relationship am I to you? You know what I mean? Right. Like, like you, like, yeah, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to wife anyone right now. Yeah. For sure. Like I'm just, plus, you know, I know. Okay, so now let me ask you another question. <clears throat> Could you be with somebody? I forget, this is too fucking much. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Could you be with somebody and then two parts? One, be with somebody else who you like equally. Is that can that happen? Or you can't ride two horses with one ass, right? Like I feel like there's only like one. You have to have one top dog. You have to have one mane, right? And then you could branch off. But if you have that one mane who you like enough, why would you want to branch off? Well, I think if you got to that point with the one mane, you wouldn't want to branch off. Right, okay. Right? Yeah. So, like, 
unless it's again unless it's like need fulfillment right so it's like let like <clears throat> let's say i let's say i was getting from our friendship mm -hmm. i was getting like all my like emotional needs met mm -hmm. and i know that you don't want to sleep with me ever right i will accept you as like a best friend right and then i'm not interested in any of the emotional stuff from anyone else i'm just trying to get right the physical the animal out yeah. you know what i mean and then it's like at the end of the night i can call you and be like hey jody how was your day blah 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 right and share things with you that way right like that's i mean that's not an ideal relationship right but ideally you want the same in both yeah. parts in one but, person but then i also know that because of my lifestyle that's difficult to ask of a woman right. to be like hey will you wait three weeks at a time six weeks at a time right while i travel the country and i'm only going to call you at night yeah like, that's a tough ask also. So sure. I understand not wanting to be there. So yeah. it's like, you know, if if a woman I'm seeing romantically, you know, is fine with that, great. But I'm also not going to ask her to be like that. Right. If while I'm away, she's banging whoever she's banging, like, oh, yeah, yeah go nuts. So, yeah. You know, as long as, you know, the things that, the unwritten, the unspoken rules of our relationship where it's like, listen, if we talk every night... And then all of a sudden, we stop talking every night. Like, will something change? Right. But if you start banging someone else and we still talk every night, like, I don't care. I don't care. You know, you got to do your thing. Sure. That's one. Okay. I don't know if that makes any sense. No, it makes sense. Sure. Because then it's obviously that she found somebody else who gives her more than what you were giving. Right, right. Her. And yes. then she wants out. She wants to change the rules of our thing, which right. is fine. Change the rules of our thing. But then, you know, let me know. Right. You know? I think, let me know, like, that you don't want the things that we've had. You know what I mean? Right. I try to be, I don't know. Although, apparently, I'm not. Like, I, I think I'm one thing, and then I find out, like, I'm not. Like, I, I, I recently hung out with someone, and and they were like, you were rude. And I was like, I was rude. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm such a grateful... Why were you rude? Apparently, I, like... You know, probably made like a joke that like I thought was like silly and cute, right? And she took the wrong way, and then like once I start being like, oh no, that was like just me being like silly and cute, then like now I'm gaslighting her. You know what I mean? Like, and it's like, oh, well, I don't want to do that. Uh, all right, uh, I'm sorry. You're entitled to your feelings, and I am sorry that you felt that way. And now. I don't want to talk to you anymore because it's weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was the end of it? I mean, we talk, whatever, but that was the end of it, yeah. Okay. That was the end of it. <laughs> okay. Well, she, it was a one night thing. You had that type of impact on a one night thing that, like, you insulted her so much? I guess. Yikes. That's pretty hard to do. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I guess I'm, like, I guess I'm not what I think I am. I don't know. Interesting. Why did you say to me you still hang out in Brooklyn? Because you don't seem like a still hang out in Brooklyn type. What does that even mean? So it was like when we were young, we would go to the city or we'd go hang out in Brooklyn. Oh. Like now we're adults. We don't need. I don't need to leave the house. You don't need to leave the. <laughs> you don't need to leave the the the, the, the triangle work gym home. Oh, huh. interesting. Where are we at? 23, 24. We didn't talk about advertisers once. No, and you're like, oh, this is going to be a lot. This is going to be multi-layered. This is going to be a two-parter. I thought it was going to be. This ended up being like a, like a, let's examine Neil's sex life. Yeah. Which is you know weird. what we should do? You know what would be really fun? Oh, wait, you want to talk about advertisers? One wait, time... what were you going to say? Oh, you know what we should do? A dating game. What? We should do a dating game. Okay. Yeah, on your channel. Okay. Okay. Also, did I say I want to do that thing, the the dating app thing? No. You might be a fun person to do that with. What is it? I will talk off. All right. Um, but that would be fun. Like the old school dating game. You could be a contestant. Would you be a contestant? Contestant? Why would I be a contestant? I'm not dating anyone. Right. That's why you would be a contestant. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, like, um, like that kind of dating game. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like newlywed game. Dating game. And it's like three. Yeah. Three women that look like Sully. From, uh, <laughs> that would be so much fun. And you're the host? Yeah. And you're like, why would you date this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, how think, desperate are you that you, you want to date this guy? You know what? I feel like, I think our age, it's hard to date. I mean, like, well, I mean. Yeah, if you don't like people. I, excuse me. You, you think just, that, you just hear your eyebrow, uh, do, eyelashes do, flutter do, like Do you think like, it, do you think it would be hard for me to get a date? No, I think it'd be easy as hell for you to get a date, but you don't want dates. I just don't want any date. Okay. Uh, because unlike you, and I'm not taking a shot at you, unlike you, like I don't like want to just like like you don't need like, to drag my dick through dirt. Drag my dick through <laughs> dirt. Like I wouldn't just. I'm sure like, the women. Sorry, I'm, sorry, ladies. No, yeah. no, no. I didn't. No, I wasn't talking about you. Yeah. Not you. <laughs> but I'm just saying because dirt. you said that you just need like a release. So sometimes, it was. Like, it wasn't. Sometimes. It was not directed at anybody. Don't come at me for that shit. I'm just saying, like, yes. So I'm just saying, like, you'll. You've never slept with someone you didn't find attractive. I've never slept. With, that's not true. You've slept with people you haven't found attractive. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I don't find you attractive or, like, there's not something, like, I I wouldn't just be able to do that. That's what I'm... I've slept with people that haven't found me attractive. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, right. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that. that's not, like, I, I can't... <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> Nothing. No, say it. I cannot. Just say it. I really can't. It doesn't even matter. Kathleen didn't find me attractive. Yikes. <laughs> that's actually what I was thinking, and I didn't want to uh, say it because I thought it would be too hard. But no, I'm uh, not. No, no, no. Brutal. That's not. Okay, let's just. Okay. With that. But anyway, we should do a dating show. Mm hmm. Would you do that? Sure. But okay, but I'm saying, I think there's a lot of single guys and women. Because who wants to go on apps all the time? Okay. The apps suck. That would be fun. Okay. I'm in. Do you want to hear a story about an appetizer? Sure. So Please. When I worked Anything but what we're talking at about. At the deli, I made um, a cheese platter because I had to bring it to a party. Somebody at there was also having a party, so I was meeting everyone there after, and I made this big cheese platter, and then I... My friend Lisa actually was there and she was calling me. She's like, where are you? She's like, I'm starving. There's no food here. I bring it. I dropped it. And all the cheese went on the street and it was raining. And I, I, I picked it up and I put it back on there. And then Lisa was like starving and she went at the cheese. I'm like, don't, don't eat the cheese. And she's like, why? I could, I, I swear to God, I had like fucking wrangle it out of her hand. I'm like, just don't. I, I didn't know the other people that were there. And, like, I didn't take all of it, like, the real ones that had, like, rocks and stuff on it. And I just put it on the table and walked away and was starving. Because <clears throat> there was no other food. You can't say that. Why? That's horrible. It had nothing to do with the job I was working. It's just me as a person. Still, you fed people street cheese. <laughs> street cheese. <laughs> uh. Look, I'm not a contestant on the dating show. <laughs> I didn't step on it. It just like <laughs> it was raining, so the water washed off the right, cheese. It right. cleaned the cheese. Yep. Plus, the five-second rule uh, triples. It took longer. I dropped a lot of it. (laughs) (laughs) Did you try to clean it off? Like, did you hold it up in the water? Like, hold it up in the rain? Like, a little bit. I, like, you know, (laughs) flicked off the rock. (laughs) The end. 
That's my appetizer. You like fruit as an appetizer or a dessert? Or you don't like fruit at all? I like fruit. I like fruit as a... Here's the thing. I like fruit as a dessert, but Phil Capone mm -hmm. told me that you shouldn't eat fruit last because it sits at the top of your stomach and rots. Oh. So now I'm like kind of paranoid about that. So I only eat fruit in the morning if I'm going to eat fruit. That's your big paranoid? Mm -hmm. When not to eat fruit. <laughs> okay. Can't eat fruit right now. I just ate. Yeah. Have to eat it like earlier in the earlier in the meal. Okay. <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry about this. Really, I would just we should have apologized in the beginning. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you. And sorry. Oh, wait. Put in the comments if anybody wants to be involved in our new dating show. Yeah, I know. I'm doing this. I want to do this. If you want to be a contestant. All right. In the comments. Mm-hmm. Like, share, subscribe. Follow us Patreon. So, wait. Are you soliciting oh. dates for me in the comments of the YouTube section? Yeah. It's fun. I'm a, I love matchmaking. I've had no luck. Everybody I've tried, does, I, 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 I strike out all the time, but I'm going to get it. Yep. <laughs> All right. If you're here for this, yeah. Thanks for watching. This, uh, yeah. Terrible. Unreal. Uh, easily the worst thing I've ever been a part of. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for doing this. No problem. <laughs> it's not the worst thing I've ever been a part of. Ha, 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 ha.